five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, what is that? It's not playing as well as it should be playing. It skips every now and then. Yeah, we're uh, we're here until uh, we're here until midnight. What was that? That just let me let me try that again. Let me let me just try that again. Okay, I got time. You got time. What do you? What, what it was it was cutting out every now and then. Listen to that. Five years and still talking. This is Gavin, yeah, Gavin the yeah. Great American Broadcast. That's Network. what Rob looks Talk like. like you've never way. heard it before. And then, uh, see, and then at one point it was it was breaking up a couple of times. Now it's fine. I can sing it again. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, 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 yeah, anyway, that's, uh, you see, I, I, it was fine this time. I don't know. I give up. You know, uh, it's all these technical things that are just starting to get to me. Uh, and I have no guests tonight, and I'm just sitting here all by myself uh, going through a usual depression. But I'll, uh, I'll explain that in a second. Uh, if you want to watch us, we're on uh, YouTube. If you want to watch us, we are also simulcasting on uh, Facebook. We've been doing that for about a week, and I don't know if I want to keep doing that. Oh, by the way, you know what I'm going to do here? Here's the other thing I'm going to do. You see, I show you all these technical things that I do. See, the picture is too bright. You don't notice it, but I do. And what happens is it gets bright every time I turn it off. Now, first of all, I have to do this, okay? So it's going to go unwind. Uh, oh, there we go. Well, that's widescreen. Okay, for that, let me see here. I got to go here. Watch what happens. Boom! I'm square, right? And then I do a little uh, thing here, and I, uh, I, uh, and there we are, okay? But now what I have to do is I have to go over to, uh, let me see here, I have to go over to advanced, and then I've got to take the brightness down to about 40 here. See? There we go. Now it's perfect. See? See? It's not too bright, and it's uh, just fine. And then i got to turn it off autofocus, and we're fine. But I forget to do that every time I... Uh, Every time I uh, reboot the machine, and last night I had to reboot the machine because we had a big screw up where everything went sideways on us, and we don't know why and uh, for what reason, but it happened. So anyway, but here we are, and uh, uh, we're broadcasting, as I say, on Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, we're broadcasting on uh, gabnet.net in both varieties, both the audio and the video, live uh let's see here what else uh, where else can you go right now and get us live you can go to our our roku channels we have a roku channel the alex the gabnet roku channel gabnet live uh is um it carries a live feed okay and it also carries the previous shows um it doesn't carry however i'm trying to figure out to, it doesn't carry a live uh broadcast of the video uh, let's see here. Then you go over to uh, where else do you go to get the video? Is there any other places you can get it? We, you, you can get the shows after the fact on Spotify, on uh, iHeartRadio. Uh, you know what I even did? I applied yesterday to have the ramble on uh, on uh, what is it? Uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, see, I can't even remember it now. The company that uh, that Sirius bought. Um, which has uh, been around for a long time. And Sirius bought it, and it, they were asking for podcasts, so I applied. Uh, watch, they'll turn me down, right? You know, but anyway. Uh, what was that? It starts with a P. What is it? Fuck, I can't remember anything anymore. 
the brain is going sideways, folks, when it shouldn't be going in any direction. Anyway, where was I? Okay, so, um, no, I, um, I, uh, I have on Monday, I have a, an appointment with my uh, urologist. Now, I've been going to the urologist now. I've been, uh, if any doctors over the years have terrorized me, it's been urologists, okay? Um, because they're all hunting for something to be wrong with you. Uh, and um, I, uh, I had this one that was not very good. And what happened was my PSA, which is the number they have for the prostate, and if it goes up high, starts getting high, and then they think, oh, well, maybe you got cancer. We got to check into that. Uh, they, and in a way, I get the feeling some of the doctors have hoped I get cancer. I don't, I don't get the feeling with the newest one. So I had this other one, and he, uh, my PSA went up. So he said, come back, take it again, and come back in six months. And it went down. And so I figured he would say, come back in a year. No, he said, come back and take it again and come back in six months. And it went up. It went up to like a 3-3 three, three or something like that. And then the next time it went to a 4-3 and then it went to a 6-7. And then I'm taking a thing called finasteride. So they say you can double that, you know. And so I, I finally, I, I had this one doctor and he said, well, we've got to do a, we've got to do a biopsy. Um, of course we've got to do a biopsy. You get to charge $4,000 for the biopsy, all right? Uh, uh, you're just drooling over the fact that now you got me, so you got to go do a biopsy. And all along he's been telling me that he doesn't think there's anything terribly wrong with me, but you know he can't find anything. He sticks uh, 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 probes up my ass and, and looks, at it, it looks at it from there, and the probes don't see anything, and the finger doesn't feel anything. The only thing that's going up is the PSA. So I am like uh, I'm going crazy with this deal, okay? Um, and uh, th this guy wanted to do a biopsy on me, and I just felt that he was just, he was too fast to go to biopsy, and that I just, I felt uncomfortable about it. So when I was talking to my doctor, I said, uh, uh, this guy, you know, wants to do the biopsy, because I went to my doctor to get a pre-biopsy okay from my doctor, okay? I guess so this doctor doesn't get sued if I get an infection, eh, whatever. So... My doctor says, gee, something just doesn't sound right there. I mean, I, he says, I just don't think at your age that they sh should be running into doing a biopsy that, that easily. He said, uh, let me give you the name of another doctor. I said, you gave me the name of this doctor. He said, well, I didn't know better. He said, he's my urologist, but I very seldom ever go to him, and I've never really needed him for anything desperate. He said, but go to this guy. So I went to this other guy, and I came out of there feeling a lot better. And he said, you know, uh, it could be double what the 6-7 the is uh, because you're taking finasteride, uh, which is a drug that's supposed to make the prostate shrink, okay, so that you don't have to pee all the time. And he said, and um, he said, uh, come back in three months. Let's see what the what the PSA says. It could be that one PSA was high. That the the you know there's something just that made it go high. So we'll we'll take another one. He said, and we'll do a thing called a 4K test, and that one will tell me whether maybe we should do a biopsy. Um, it doesn't mean you know. I read about it. It doesn't mean you necessarily have aggressive cancer, but there's a very good chance you might if the 4K comes out negative. So I have to have that. So I have the thing on Monday, the doctor on Monday. Now, when I walked out, my friend Shecky went with me to the last appointment. And I came out, he reminded me, you know, he said, you came out of there feeling really good about this doctor. And I said, well, I felt good about him because he wasn't rushing into anything, you know. He didn't feel there was any great rush. And, uh, and there usually isn't, believe it or not, for people my age, because people my age usually, usually, um, don't have, oh, oh, there we go, yeah, that's fine, um, usually don't have, they may have prostate cancer, but it's not aggressive prostate cancer, because at my age, there's about an 80% chance you'll get prostate cancer, 
And by the time you reach 90, it's 100%. But it's not aggressive, and so they just wait and watch. Now, I've had no other symptoms. You know, I pee okay, and uh, I don't, you know, everything else is fine with me. So that being the case, I probably, if I do have prostate cancer, it's not aggressive in any way. But I worry about it. I worry the doctor's going to go, uh-oh, the 4K test came back. It looks like you've got an aggressive cancer. Uh, boy, we better go in there and check it. Oh, my God, you're going to die. But that's the way I think. See, that's my problem. I, I, uh, uh, I'm a control freak, is what I was told once by somebody. Um, by the guy who wrote uh, Swimming to Cambodia. Uh, 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 I'm trying to remember his name now. See, I can't remember names anymore. That's not a sign of prostate cancer, by the way. And he told me, he said, uh, you know, he said, I, I told him that, we were, uh, that I have a hard time traveling because just before I travel, I worry about everything that has to do with the, with the traveling and with the agenda and all of that. And he said, well, you know why? It's because you're a control freak. He says, I'm the same way. He said, what a control freak does is he thinks of every negative possibility, everything that could possibly go wrong. I remember once I was going to go to, I had to go from um, uh, Kershaw in, in, uh, in, uh, in France, which was uh, where we were staying during the Olympics, okay, that were in, uh, what was that small town? I can't remember the name of it now. See, there we go again. But anyway, I was having trouble. Uh, I was, I, I, what I was doing is before I went on that trip, I worried every day. There was a train that I had to get in the morning of the last day, and I had to get it at 6 o'clock in the morning, which meant I had to get up at 4.30 so a car could take me to the train, which was in another town about 25 miles away. And I kept worrying. This is while I'm still in the United States. I kept worrying that uh, 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 I was going to miss that train. If I miss that train, I, uh, the next one isn't for five hours. And my girlfriend who was going to meet me in Paris would not know where I was and blah, blah, blah. And I kept worrying about this and worrying about this. And, and you know, uh, as it turned out, it was a very simple thing. I got in the car, drove me to the train station. I wound up waiting for a half hour because I got there early. And uh, that was the... Uh, that was the, uh, 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 but that's that's being a control freak, and so consequently, I think of all the worst possible case scenarios that could happen with this doctor. And he said the reason why you do that is because you're a control freak, and this way you're controlling the situation, so that if the worst does happen, you can you can say I knew it was going to happen. See, so you're controlling your destiny by, by uh, uh, deciding, that, oh, hey, maybe it's going to cause a problem. So anyway, uh, uh, that's the reason why my feelings are with this doctor, well, these 4K tests, and he's probably going to take it, and he's going to find out that I, uh, I do have an maybe a chance, chance of an aggressive form of cancer, and they are going to have to do the uh, biopsy, and then they're going to do the biopsy, and they're going to find out I have just have this virulent cancer, and I'm going to die. Now, why do I think that? I, in, in absence of any other information, I make up my own. And that's what I'm worried about. And I'm deathly afraid of the, the, what's going to happen on, uh, on, uh, uh, on, on Monday. Um, you know, I mean, I, I think probably he's just going to give me a blood test. It'll come back. He'll check it, and maybe everything will be fine, or it won't be fine. I'll, uh, that will, will, he'll say you probably have uh, cancer, but it's not aggressive, and you know you're good to go. That, but that's not what I'm thinking. That's not what the call is going to be. It's going to go something like this, Alex. I have good news, bad news, and I have worse news. What, what, what's the bad news? Well, the bad news is you have prostate cancer. What's the worst news? Well, the 4K came back, and it's aggressive. And I would say you're probably good for about another six months. That's what I think. That's what I'm prepared for. So that I'm prepared for the worst. All right? So, 
Uh, because every day, you know, at this age, you wake up going, what is it that's going to get me? Because uh, people I know are dropping like fucking flies around me. You know, and these are people who are younger than I am. And then, then I go to this chiropractor yesterday, and he, uh, he says, so you're going you're gonna to come in next week for more chiropractic, right? Because they keep selling you on more and more of it. You know, you got to do two a week. Oh, you mean I have to do uh, $260 worth a week that isn't going to be paid back through uh, the Medicare? Yeah, that's correct, Alex. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So anyway, um, uh, he told me, he said, oh, well, I, he said, why can't you come in? I said, well, because I have, a, I have a, a urologist appointment, and I don't know how I'm going to feel after that. You know, I may have prostate cancer. My PSA is up. And he says, oh, my, uh, and the, the great thing for him to tell me. My brother-in-law died of uh, prostate cancer. I said, oh, really? He said, yeah, he got it, and it just went crazy, and before you know it, he was dead. I said, how old was he? He said, 62. I said, well, at 62, he, I said, at my age, he said, oh, well, at your age, it's not dangerous. So even he says that. My doctor, my internist said, eh, don't worry about it. You know, at your age, you may have it, but it's no big deal. Uh, Jeff, who calls this program, he went to his urologist. He mentioned me, mentioned my situation, and the urologist went, that's eh, a no-brainer. You know, all of these people are telling me, you know, it, it, at your age, it's not dangerous. But I figure I'm going to beat the odds on this one, and it's going to kill me. All right? So that's how I, that's how I am. That's the way, I, that's the way I, uh, I roll on this shit. And I, it's terrible. I really uh, shouldn't uh, be this way, but I am, and uh, it's not. It's not good, you know. So, if a lot of you are out like like me, uh, it's probably because you are, in fact, uh, um, uh, people who are um, uh, control freaks, you know. So, anyway, how do you like this? This is my. See my shirt? Yep, that's it. That's when I was born, folks. Vintage 1939, aged to perfection. I also have a hat back here that says 1939 on it, too. How did I find those? Amazon. You know, they know how old I am because I think you put some place you put your birthday in. So they know how old I am, so they sent me all this stuff for 1939. Good going. Good going. So I, I have my 1939 T-shirt, okay? You like that? Okay. Oh, boy. Last night show. I tell you, sometimes I walk out of the show here, and I go, boy, was that fucked. And the show last night, for some reason, I just personally got really pissed off. Uh, I, I don't know. You know, I, I was just, it was just, I was getting irritated just by, not by most of the people. One of the people in particular was getting to me last night. I'll say who it was. It was Phil. Um, because he was just being a brat last night. And I've had, a, I've had a talk with Phil, and I talk with Phil about his behavior on the program and that could he kind of tamp it down a little bit. I mean, I don't want to censor him or have him not, you know, be for Trump if that's the thing. But, you know, don't be so uh, aggressive with it. And he went, uh, uh, you know, so he agreed a long time ago to really help me out and, and, and be good about that. And uh, last night, he, he, was, he was back to his old stuff again, and it just so irritated me, you know, that I was going, why do I do this? You know, why am I putting up with, why am I doing this show? Uh, and and uh, so it's some of those nights I come out of here and I want to say to the rest of the people who were calling, you were fine. You guys were, were just fine. Uh, but it, Phil was, was really unhinged last night. And it, it really disappointed me in, in a couple of ways. Number one, because he told me that he would you know, honor my request. You know, I don't want to censor anybody on this show. I don't want to tell them what they can say and what they can't say. It's just not my way. It's not the way I run a show. Never has been, never will be. But if someone is shall we say, monopolizing the show or 
uh, disturbing the show to where it goes off track or whatever, then I kind of, you know, say, hey, rein it in a little bit. Now, I like Phil. Phil is an old friend, despite the fact that I kid him about the fact that I don't remember him, although I'm kidding him about the fact that I do remember him. <laughs> but anyway, and I like Phil, you know, but he just sometimes just, he, he gets back into this, this brat mode, and I have to sometimes shake him out of it, you know. And he was good for, gee, about, about a month or so. And then all of a sudden, it started slowly creeping in. It's slowly creeping in. And last night, for some reason, I don't know, all the equipment went bad at the beginning of the show, and we were off to a bad start, so I wasn't in a good mood anyway. But it kind of like, you know, kind of really pissed me off. So uh, I last night I, w I left, w went off the show and just said, you know, that's, that's a problem. By the way, for you people who are watching me on, uh, on uh, Facebook, see, now uh, uh, there are only two people watching me on Facebook, one of which is me, okay? So only that other person is going to see this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change angles on this, okay? And there we go. Now, you can't see this on uh, YouTube, because I have uh, a different camera on here that I'm turning on, and people can see me looking at the, uh, at, at the thing that I'm doing here. And uh, then I'll go back to eh, go back to the regular feed. But I, I thought I would do that, folks, because I give the Facebook people a little something special. In fact, uh, go over to Facebook if you get a chance, and you'll get something special. Oh, there's three people now on Facebook, so let me let me once again go to that other shot. Hello, I see I'm working here, and this is the computer we do the show on. Okay, see I'm talking to this camera now, and this is this camera here, and then I will just uh, go back to this. Okay, all right. So, uh, okay, so it, I noticed well, all of a sudden we got some people on Facebook. I probably should do some special stuff on Facebook, and then that'll get them to watch it on Facebook. It doesn't take much for me to set it up, and it hasn't caused a real problem of sorts, so I'm kind of happy with it. But, you know, uh, it, it, if, if I don't get more people watching on Facebook, I'm going to go, what the fuck, why am I doing this? Um, but, uh, hmm. So anyway, I got about a couple of minutes left. Nah, let me just let me go to let me go to the uh, Skype lines here. I'll bring Skype up. Let's hope it all works good tonight. Let's hope it doesn't go bad on me. I don't know what the problem was last night. I had no idea what the problem was last night. But uh, here we go. Let me see here. Let me turn myself on. You'll hear a couple of dings from other people who had called earlier. Right, okay, now we're on, and let's see here. Let's see if it, uh, if it, if it, uh, if it, it we're, we're already, we're on, okay. So um, give me a call. It's a very simple thing to do, folks. Oh, now we have five people over there. Hold on a second. Uh, let me, let me, let me look at the people over there. See? Hi, folks. See, different angle. See, you can get that. On Facebook, you get a different, different angle. The only thing is you won't be able to find the, uh, uh, the citizen panel. That's the problem. Okay, so, uh, so I have to go here so you can see the citizen panel. Anyway, I'm waiting for somebody to call. Anybody, you know. Will Phil call me after what I said tonight? I don't know. Probably. I hope so. You know, and I hope he tries to tamp himself down a little bit, not get me all agitated. Uh, let me see here. Nobody's calling. That's strange. Usually people, as soon as I open the lines, start calling. Of course, it isn't exactly the half-hour point, and some people don't tune in until the half-hour point because they don't want to either hear me blabbing or hear whatever interview that I have. Well, here we go. Here comes Ray Renati, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and he is at, Hello. He is at the... Uh, hold on a second. Let me just uh, uh, get uh, him in here. And uh, get his uh, his picture going. There we go, and uh, there we go. Uh, there Am I the first one? You're the first yeah. one, yeah. 
Is and it noisy? I'm at the YMCA, oh, as usual. Uh, yeah. Here comes Kathleen. Uh, All right. Uh, she's calling tonight. Let's see here. She's uh, number... Uh, wait a minute. Let me see here. She's number two. Oops. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Uh, she's uh, Bob Q. Kazoo. I don't know where you people come up with these names, but... but gee. I got that. Huh? I got that from the cartoon um, Foster's um, Home for Imaginary Friends. Really? And what was the yeah. name? And, and what was the name? Um, Bob Q. Kazoo. It was one of the characters, Blue. Yeah. He was, you know, he was, you know, he was like the a-hole of the cartoon. He was pretty funny. And one of, one day he was um, dressed up as something else and they asked, well, what's your name? And he said, Bob Q. Kazoo. Bob Q. Kazoo. Like, I see. Bob Q. Kazoo. So I stole it. Yeah, so you stole it. So that, because you all have your own names. This is Goomba what? Uh, 61. Goomba 61. Yeah, that's because I, I, I got it when years ago when Skype first started, and I didn't even know how to make a username, and that's kind of like what they gave me, so I just took it. Wait a minute, they gave you a, a name? Well, I, put it, I think I put in Goomba, and then they put the 61 at the end. I said, oh, well, okay. because there was another Goomba already. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, I was so clueless back then. I just And there was know, probably whatever. Goombas. I mean, it was years and years ago. There were yeah. probably Goombas 1 through 61. Yeah, there's a hundred. There's a bunch of other Goombas. Yeah. yeah, so that shows you how original you are. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> well, I had to. I had to make this uh, this one Gabnet live because somebody already had Gabnet, and it was like something down in South America or something. And so uh, I had to. I had to do Gabnet live, and that was a suggestion of Phil. Thanks to Phil, which I appreciate. One of the really good things he did. He actually came up with the Gabnet Live uh, idea. That's so, good. Yeah, yeah. So, I had, my, my podcast was Green Room Radio, mm -hmm. and then there were so many Green Room Radio podcasts, so I changed it to Green Room On Air. Yeah, well, also, I mean, Green Room is not, an, a, not a title that would not be used by a lot of people. Right, right. Because a Green Room is where it. people wait while they're waiting to go on. Right, straight yeah. stage, yeah, yeah. But when I put the on air on, there's none. Of, there's no other ones. Do you know why they're named green rooms? Well, there's, well, because they, they used to paint the rooms green, no, or there's no. other thought, no. lots too. The original one was named after a guy named Green. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was some guy yeah. who was a patron of the theater, and they named it the Green Room. And from then on, any room where people were waiting to go on stage was the Green Room. Oh, okay. So guess hey, no, you don't even think about it. You just say green room. Get, like, get, okay. Well, guess on a TV show, we'll go stay in the green room until they're ready to go on the air with the host. Oh yeah, I mean every time I'm in a play, I mean you have to go to wait in the green room. Yeah. Oh no, I'm in the green room. I'm not on yet. I'm in the green room. You're being banished to the green room. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, so uh, I wonder if we're going to hear from Phil tonight after what I said. What did I missed you say? all the shenanigans. Well, yeah, there were shenanigans last night. No, it was just Phil got a little out of hand last night. Oh, when you I, yelled at him, I watched it after. Yeah, and I got a little, I got a little, you know, flustered by it all. And I don't yeah. want to hurt his feelings because I like Phil, you know. But um, I've asked him to kind of tone it down a little bit, not change his opinion, not, you know, not vociferously state his opinion. But let other people talk, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, participate rather than moderate, you know. Yeah. And uh, um, uh, I, I, we, I had asked him once before to do, he says, anything for you, Alex, you know. And I appreciated that. And he did it. And then all of a sudden recently, just kind of like amped up again. And last night it threw me off completely. Yeah. Well, he just Maybe gets he into had that. Too much coffee. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he had too much coffee. And he gets into that defensive hole. mode. He gets defensive because everyone's, and, and he just goes for it, you know, because nobody's agreeing with him on anything. Yeah. Yeah. And so. he, you know, he gives 110 yeah. percent. Well, let's see if anybody <laughs> else is going to call this program tonight. So you, you're working out. Where are you? You're at the YMCA, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's free, right? 
Well, no, we paid for it. I mean, well, not much because my wife works here, so we don't pay much. Oh, actually, it is free. Yeah, it's free now because she works here. Oh, okay, right. okay. But if she didn't work there, how much would it cost you? Not much. It's pretty cheap. Really? Yeah. Okay. And it's nice, too. Yeah. It's not nothing. Yeah. It's not as cheap as your place, but mm -hmm. um, it's pretty cheap. Now, I don't know. I don't even know what it would cost. Now, Shmoody has her, uh, her laptop tonight, right? Do you use a laptop all the time? Yeah, I've, yeah. I, I had a CPU, but um, I've always had a laptop. Yeah, yeah. You mean a de you mean a desktop? A desktop. You mean a de yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that thing. The, the, Everything has a CPU in it, even your phone. Yeah, yeah even your even your <laughs> laptop. <laughs> your Help watch. The but it's on your it's on your lap, right? Right now. Yes, I'm I'm laying in bed because I got to get up early and I'm pooped. What now? Wait a minute. You said you got a jo another job. Yeah, I work at the Chill Freeze Costco. There's Costco here in Tracy has four um, warehouses, the store, and then it's got three other uh, huge depots. Mm hmm. So, what do you do at the Costco then? Uh, well, I uh, check the produce. We get pallets and pallets and pallets. I was going to say, what do you do checking the produce? What do you say? Oh, well, that's meat and that's chicken. And that's salmon, oh. you know. You work you know, at that one of those sure giant buildings? Yeah, they're massive. Right off the highway there? Those huge car Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. I know that is. Well, it's yeah. actually off of five. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. You see them. Yeah. And, so it, and it's like 30 degrees in there. Wow. Well, now, yeah. let me ask you this question. I have noticed that the cost of meat has gotten terrible. It's really just, I, I just, you know, I, I, I don't buy it anymore at Costco. It's too expensive. Oh, yeah. Plus, so I, plus I usually buy, buy four pieces of meat, which is what you have to buy, and then I don't eat it all. You know? Yeah, see, I don't eat a lot of meat. Yeah. But uh, their salmon is good. Yeah. Their salmon's yeah. really good, and I always get the chicken. I always get one of those roasted chickens because they're the cheap. That is the, I think, the second most selling thing in Costco is the chicken. Yeah. The f most selling is the toilet paper. And you got to buy the toilet paper before you have that chicken. <laughs> it's very funny. Because, no, if I eat that chicken and I eat the skin, I get the trots and I need the toilet paper. So I got to get the toilet paper first. You know, very funny. Yeah, you got all your bases covered in yeah. one store. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, Both ends. Yeah. So, anyways, you like my shirt? Huh? Oh yeah. Very cool. nice. Yeah. 1939. Yeah. Wow. Now, now, Where'd you get that? Where'd I get that? Yeah. Uh, I got that from Amazon. I hate Amazon. Why do you hate Amazon? Well, because Jeff Bezos' goal is to put all the brick and mortar stores out of business. I don't think that's his goal. I think that. Oh, it is. He's he's actually said so. Really, to that that Absolutely. extent. Absolutely. Because I would think that he didn't necessarily want to. That wasn't his aim. His aim was to open up a company that would make him as much money as is humanly possible, so he can send rockets into outer space. You know. We have some. Uh, we have an Amazon, a huge Amazon warehouse out here, and uh, there's a couple friend of my friends of mine that are um, former Amazon employees, and they said, "Man, it's just a clusterfuck." Really? <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of stealing and all kinds of crap, and they're just stupid. Well, the thing is that uh, I um, um, I have to admit this: I buy almost everything from Amazon. Because yeah. I'm too fucking lazy to walk down the street. So I have a new thing. If I need electronics, I get it from Best Buy because they match Amazon. Well, that, I, that's what I do. If I, uh, I find yeah. that if I want something, and I want it now, and I want to, and I want to take it, to have a place where I can actually take it right back now. Okay. Uh, that uh, that the Best Buy is a great idea because you walk into Best Buy and you walk in with your uh, your iPhone and you see an item you like and you look it up on uh, on uh, Amazon and then you walk up the counter and say, look, Amazon's got it for this price and they give it to you. Yeah. You know, 
Uh, and also that you can del have it delivered to Best Buy and just pick it up. I do that all the time. Yeah. Like if they don't have it in stock, I just deliver it to the store and I live half a mile away and I go pick it up. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> uh, I do that occasionally because I, I, I don't mind giving them money because they're be they, they become so competitive against Amazon. I appreciate that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. You know. Uh, the but, French guy took it over. The French uh, CEO. He really knew what he was doing. Yeah. Because they were about to go under. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Yeah. The Circuit City went under, and we thought for sure that Best Buy was next. People yeah. don't know. Or not everybody knows when we say Circuit City what we're talking about. I know. <laughs> because there wasn't a Circuit City in the East Coast. I think they were basically on the West Coast. Oh, no, maybe there yeah. was one here on the East Coast. What was that, like 10 years ago? And I think, Nine years ago? Yeah, I think it became a Best Buy. What happened? Eight or eight, eight to ten years ago, that went yeah. out. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Circuit City. Fry's is on the verge of going out. Who? Fry's Electronics. Oh, Fry really? Oh, they're horrible. Oh, I loved Fry's. Uh, Remember? The one here is, yeah. Yeah. Huh? We still, I still have one right we, here. We, my you, house. we used to go to it together. Yeah, we'd go to Salad Circus and then we'd go to Fry's. Salad Circus, yeah. Remember, you know, we called Fre <laughs> Fresh Tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, right. Fresh tomatoes, where you're going to have as much salad as you possibly could eat, and then a bunch of other crap, too. Yeah. All for nine ninety five or something, and then we would go over to Fry's. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, the one in Sunnyvale? No. The, yeah, the one in, yeah, I think it was Sunnyvale. Yeah, because yeah, Fresh to. Tomatoes yeah. is right down the street. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. That okay. was it. Right. Yeah, and we loved the <laughs> Fry's was originally was a supermarket. Yeah, and I don't know one what what day somebody woke up and said, "Let's make this an electronics company," but they yeah. turned I used the to go to Fry's yeah, when it was a Fry's. supermarket. They turned the supermarkets <laughs> into electronics stores, and at one time yeah. they bought an electronics store that was the largest electronics store in America that was up in Sacramento. They bought it, and they owned the largest. Literally, if you, I went to it, it was huge. Just Is that huge. the one with the train coming out the? No, of it? no, 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 no. But it, it was big. Too. It was big. Uh, and but so fries is maybe closing down, huh? Yep. Oh boy. Oh. Sweet tomatoes. That's sweet tomatoes. It, that's the yeah. end. Yeah. Was it? It was it. it sweet tomatoes. Sweet tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't rotten tomatoes. That's the no, website. No, no. Yeah. Sweet tomatoes. <laughs> Gee, it doesn't look like anybody else is going to call tonight. So. Woohoo. <laughs> It's a party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, last night we had like... Everybody's out partying. Where's Charlie? Whatever. He always calls. Yeah, uh, uh, and there's no baseball game on. I don't know. I don't even care. Where, I don't even know where's what's going Jeff? on. Oh, the uh, Nationals won, so pff, baseball's oh. gone. Yeah, and, and Phil's probably pissed at me now, you know. Uh, so, whatever. Well, too bad. Too bad. Tr Trump's Trump's dust. <laughs> well, the, the latest thing we found out about Trump today, we always find out something, is the Defense Department is scratching their heads. They say they can't figure out where he heard that al-Baghdadi, or whatever his name was, uh, was, trapped, was trapped running screaming and pleading for his life, as, as Donald Trump tells the story. Like a dog. Like a dog, right? <laughs> like a dog that he is. Woof. Woof, yeah. Some say canine, I say dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, here comes Vernon, by the way. I always like to have Vernon on. Hi, Vernon. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me just bring you into the, um, into the batch, okay? There we go. Wait a minute. There he is. There's Vernon. Anyway... The, the Defense Department is scratching their heads because they said they have checked with everybody and they've heard no such story. <laughs> that this was all a fabrication by Trump to make it seem more dramatic. Oh, God. Yeah. This uh, is pathetic. Yeah. I mean, and they're, they're a little ticked off at it because they said it's not what happened at all. You know? They said, in fact, we don't know exactly how it happened or what the circumstances were, but he wasn't going down this hallway screaming and crying and whimpering like a little girl, you know. Uh, 
So Trump I'm, made it sound like he was watching it. Huh? He, he made it sound like he was watching it, like on the Jack Bauer show or something. Yeah, you know, he made it seem like it was. Well, it was for his stupid, you know, trog. Oops, hold on a second. I, I'm trying to get this thing so it works right. And just like I'm they screwed. were skyping it. There we go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's no, like what, he, what he does is, is for his idiot. Uh, 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 no, that. No, how come? I can't do anything right tonight. I'm trying to get. Jeff's picture in there, and I, I keep getting Vernon's picture in there. I okay. see Jeff fine. I see okay. Jeff. Well, I know, but you, you see them because you have a different picture than the audience is getting. The audience oh, now complex. is getting Jeff as well, see. But anyway, so the Defense Department is really all PDOD because they can't figure out what, uh, you know... What 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 he was where he got his information, and then it turns out he wasn't even watching this thing happen. You know, he was playing golf at the time. He said he was watching. What a liar! No, no he wasn't watching. He was playing golf. In fact, there is. I he think, said I saw. I heard him say that. Yeah. Well, he probably saw a tape of it, or he saw some grainy photographs, or something like that. But he didn't. Uh, he didn't see them. You know, so or he saw nothing at all. Well, that could be too. Wait a minute. Now, why, maybe why he had Tony, a friend why, why is the Tony camera, there a twice? GoPro on the dog or something. I see here. Wait a minute. Let me get rid of Tony here. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm, so from the dog's eye view. Hmm? Yeah. Maybe yeah. there was a GoPro on the dog, and Trump was just like watching it from the dog's oh, viewpoint. Oh, you see our feet. <laughs> yeah, I, just feet. I think they maybe did have a, dog, a GoPro on the dog, <laughs> yeah. if I'm not mistaken. But anyway. He went whimpering and running down, and they said they have no. We said the, the Defense Department and the people who were in charge of this raid say we don't know where he got that information because we didn't get that kind of information. No, he had a GoPro on the dog, right, Ray? Yeah. And when it exploded, it was the dog that went running and whimpering. Really? Yeah, well, he was just know. mistaken. No, he had he had an. He had an echo on the dog, and uh, it was, we saw it with the echo camera. I have to whisper because I have an echo over here. By the way, you've seen this one, echo. haven't you? Echo. Uh, don't don't do that. Well, you can't do that because uh, because I don't have the speaker up. So I'm, I, I yeah, it can't hear you. But watch this. It's listening. Echo, turn off studio. Ooh. Echo, turn on studio. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that hey, cool? did you hear the thing about the echo where they're trying to solve a crime where a guy's wife or girlfriend got killed with a bedpost and he Ooh. says he didn't do it, but there was an echo in the room and they're trying to get Amazon to release Ooh. the Ooh. audio that happened right before the death. Well, how can it, here's the thing are they collecting that audio? Well, apparently they, they are. are. Yeah, they're not supposed to, but apparently they are. So it's a big thing right now. But here's something I don't get. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, oh, look who's calling, Tom Yamaguchi. Let me see here. Let me uh, let me uh, take Tom and uh, get him into the into the mix. Uh, we want him in six. So we go. Tom, where, where is it? Uh, there's Tom. Okay. Hold on a second, and he should be here any moment now. There we go. Hello, Tom. Hey. Hey, it's Tom Thomas Yamaguchi, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. Uh, you were talking about uh, Trump's uh, invention of the uh, oh, of the, uh, of the, the uh, whimpering and crying uh, down the, the yeah, tunnel. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think you brought up something really interesting last night that I was thinking about before, referencing the... Um, what Bill Maher had said about the uh, the 9/11 uh, hijackers, yeah, and yeah. you know, you said, yeah, you can call them anything you want, any any disguise, but you can't call them cowards. Yeah, and it's very true. And in fact, I mean, when he, I mean, I mean, one thing these things, these people, they're fanatics, yeah. and uh, they believe they're going to go to heaven, so they have no fear. 
about about taking their own lives and even taking their kids' lives with them. I mean, that's how fanatical they are. Well, I thought and, that was that was and a terrible. And followers story. know that. Yeah. So when so so when when Trump gives a story like that, he's already exposed as a liar. Yeah. And has no credibility. Yeah. yeah. So he's only hurting. He's only making things worse. But you know, it, it's like he t he he, t he tells these stories like he did on that situation to kind of almost make it look like it's a movie that's going yeah. on. You know, yeah. and his audience are so dumb they think that this is a they they see see what they do is they see him on television, and mm -hmm. television is this whole fabricated world that you watch, yeah. and he is simply now another fabrication. And he's playing it for all he's got that way. So he goes on and tells you exactly how the raid went. And then they chased him down the hall, and the dogs were chasing him, and they blew a hole through the, through the wall. And then <laughs> he ran, he ran down you. like a coward, begging and pleading, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. <laughs> well, it's it's like an episode of 24. Exactly, and he's Jack Bauer. Yeah, exactly. it's, a, it's a movie to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Alex, remember when we were in Spain and we stayed at some hotel that had a long hallway and we did that hallway shot? Yeah, I, I still have that on the video. Where you go towards first, so that's probably how it is in the movie, and then Baghdadi turns around and starts running. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that hallway was in, uh, was in, in Paris. It was in Paris, yeah. And then the last thing you do is wave goodbye as you turn the corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I use that as the end of the Paris segment. Right. Anyway, you can all go online, by the way, to YouTube. And if you go all the way down and find uh, like Alex Paris or whatever, uh, or uh, Europe, and uh, the Europe videos are there. So, and she's in them. Hey, you know, including her, hey, Alex, including watch. her, her bikini thong butt, because I used it as a joke because we were watching a full eclipse of the moon oh. over oh. the Mediterranean, and I photographed it as it waned and then i kept going like half moon and then i would uh, yeah. then i went quarter moon and then i went eighth moon then tenth moon and then i showed her ass because that's she, when a wind and, and i put i put on full moon blew my damn dress up <laughs> yeah wait wait where is this where do we see this, uh, this is, where is it <laughs> This it's on Facebook. Yeah, no. yeah, it's oh. on Facebook. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, uh, no, it's on. No, it's on. Uh, on uh, uh, what do you call it? On uh, YouTube. Website. YouTube. YouTube. Okay. But it's way, way down. It's way in my history. Go, go, uh, Alex Bennett Europe. I think maybe it might okay. come up. You know. Okay. I don't know. I have to have to look. Let me see here. Alex Bennett Europe. Let's see if it comes up. I watched those so long ago. <laughs> Because they were so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Europe, Europe, Europe. I remember yeah. that's when UPS was on strike, and it and yeah. you know we had already planned yeah. the trip. If you go, if you type in 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 uh, at YouTube, Alex Bennett Europe, you'll get at Europe 2009 with Alex Bennett. Oh no, that's the one with Marjorie. <laughs> hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, that's not the one. Let's see here. There was another one. Let's see here. Alex Bennett, you're up. Uh, it was probably part of the Bolo files or something. Well, let's see here. Bolo Chronicles. They used to be on That's your old it. website. No video chat, no oh, here we go. Here, oh, okay. here we go. If you go Bolo Chronicles, there's uh, there are the four segments, okay, which is Paris, France, and Switzerland, the Italian lakes, and Ibiza. And then there's an Ibiza now and then. And it's her stuffing her mouth full of paella. Uh, yeah, those are the four sections of that video. And I, there's a full version somewhere, but I don't know where right now. But just go Bolo Chronicles, B-O-L-O -O Chronicles, and then uh, the whole list is there. In episode 6, 7, 8, 9, and then a thing called Ibiza, now, then and now, okay? Or now and then, or whatever. There we go, folks. That's it. You know, I'd show it to you now, but if I did it, uh, Facebook would blank me out whenever the music came on because a lot of the music isn't, yeah. you know, I didn't pay for it. So, but YouTube just simply pays them by running commercials before the uh, video. But uh, I just so got in trouble again for talking. 
Oh, you, where? At the YMCA? I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have a no oh, talking rule at the YMCA. Yeah, no talking on the phone. But you can talk to other people. You can talk to other people? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But not on the yeah, phone to other people. people. <laughs> Okay, well, just tell him you're talking to somebody else who's on the other side just of the gym. Just tell him you're talking to your bike. Yeah, right. Uh, you know. I'm talking to my imaginary friend. Your imaginary friend. <laughs> then tell them my imaginary friend doesn't like you. Yeah. Tell him you're talking to, yeah. Uh, I was going to tell you, Beto O'Rourke, that guy Beto dropped out, Alex. They just Beto. 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 Beto, I'm sorry. Well, he, Beto, Beto. Beto. I don't know Beto. what day he got the message, but we've known that for a long time, you know. So they're down one. Well, yeah, they're down to 19 now, aren't they? Yeah. Something like Who's going to be and next? And then Kamala Harris, she shut down at some headquarters, like three or four places, laid off a bunch of people so she can concentrate on Iowa or whatever. Yeah, well, I think you're going you're gonna to find a lot of these people backing out. I mean, they, they got it. They got it. I think uh, didn't uh, uh, um, de Blasio got out right? Yeah, but he, I don't know if he was ever really in. No, I think I think he was just in it for the publicity. I don't know, yeah. but he he wasn't serious contender. Uh, who else uh, should get going? Um, it, it looks like yes, uh, uh, Tom. I'm really angry at Tom Steyer. I wish he hadn't gotten in the first place. Hadn't gone. And he in. said he wasn't going to get in. Yeah. Yeah, well, and then, and, and I actually met him. Yeah. Uh, he came to the, uh, the the pride parade in San Francisco uh, to do. You know, he's been his his big effort had been on the impeachment, and I got a T-shirt and I got to take his picture with, with him. And the next day, he turned around. I read, I decided I'm going to run for president after all. Now why? Oh, oh, man. <laughs> why did that make you mad? Because he just considered him a spoiler. <laughs> because there were. There are you know, there are people that were really really, like I was I was for Jay Inslee and mm -hmm. unfortunately uh, Jay Inslee left really early. I thought he'd make a great president, and his his focus was on was on climate change. Yeah, and uh, and so so and he's got experience. I mean he's he's been in Congress. He's he's the governor of Washington, and and uh, and so he's got lots of government experience. And here's comes. Another rich white guy with no government experience say, "Oh, I've got to talk about climate change." So uh. you know, he could have supported. I one thing he could do he could also spend all his billions uh, to uh, help us take back the Senate too. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pissed at him. <laughs> well, uh, do you, you know, I mean, uh, 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 Vernon hasn't really said anything tonight. Vernon, uh, what's your feelings about the race right now? I agree with Tom. Uh, I'm at, uh, by the way, am I coming through okay? Yeah, you're coming through fine. Buzzy. Okay. Well, I, I'm in Mount Vernon, Mount Jackson, Virginia, in the mountains. Uh, yeah. They had a two week vacation like last year, uh -huh. and the Wi Fi was really, really bad. So I'm using my mobile hotspot now to do this. It's working fine. You look great. <laughs> you look terrific. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the I agree wall, with Tom, the, though, about, the, about uh, Tom Steyer. The wallpaper is almost as hideous as Tony's, <laughs> but outside say, of I that. I kind of like it. I, I kind of thought you'd like that. that. Yeah, you want to buy that wallpaper, <laughs> no, Tony? I got better wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it started with the wallpaper. She loves it. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, she thinks it's good. That's got to be, it's you. a hotel room, right? T uh, it's a condo. Room. It's a condo, okay. And, and the wallpaper came with the condo? Oh, my yeah, God. unfortunately. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, don't show us your wallpaper, God! Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh God, that is the worst wallpaper I've ever seen in my whole. F Look at that, folks! That's why Norman Bates killed his mother. You know? <laughs> you know? That's 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 it. That's it. That's all she wrote. Now, now, on the other hand, um, uh, uh, Kathleen doesn't have terrible wallpaper. Uh, she has a hideous green background. What is it? What color is that? It's actually blue, a light blue, but. But it comes uh, across as being like turquoise here. <clears throat> yeah. I don't have my lamp on full blast. Yeah. I'm too tired. Yeah, yeah. So, but you're lying in bed and you're, you got your jammies yeah. on, do you? Yep. What is that? A hello? What is that? You've you've got. It's a, not a freaking hello. 
No, what is that? It's a monkey. It's a. Well, let's see. It. Let's see the monkey. Mm. Could you see back? the monkey? Yeah, that's. Uh, I just want everybody to see your tits. That's all. You're I'll funny. be right back. I got a clip on nails now. It's hanging. Can you believe this shit? What? 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 What's this? I got a clip on nails. Can you believe this? I can't write this out. You got a clip. I'll be... Take a blowtorch with you. <laughs> yeah. Was that, uh, is that, will the Me Too movement get mad at that? Oh, me saying, uh, look at those tits? Nah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, by the way, I saw a great show tonight. Um, we watched three episodes of it, which is all that's available right now. Uh, Apple TV started their Apple TV Plus today. Mm -hmm. oh. And they have on a show called The Morning Show with Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon and Steve Carell. And it is terrific. I mean, it is maybe the best television show of the year. Uh, it is, it's, it's a real women's show because it's about two, two women who are television personalities. But it is also about Steve Carell who loses his job because it's, it's like, he's like Matt Lauer, you know. He gets accused. Of, and it, they do a whole thing about how terrible that is, you know. Oh, 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 who do we lose up there? Oh, we lost. Uh, we lost. Uh, Ray. We, we lost Ray. Ray, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh yeah, we I don't just have. Turned off the video because I have to leave. They uh, closed. Oh, oh okay. So you're gonna turn... to get in trouble again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That big no, ass is because he's Superman, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute. You're, you're beating you're... him up now. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Put, mute yourself there. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, but it 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 not only talks about uh, about women uh, and their place in the media and the power that they either have or don't have, but it also talks about the whole Me Too thing and how this guy gets completely he loses his twenty five million dollar a year job uh, because he uh, because of a, of an accusation that isn't even proven. And so they take they it, 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 it's it, it if you have a chance watch this it's really great we watch three episodes we're bored for one moment and it's a good start for Apple TV you know but you have to have Apple TV to see it it's only on Apple TV yeah yeah okay it, I don't know if you have to have an Apple TV I think they're going to be oh. putting their app on other things like Roku's and so on but I haven't seen it there yet okay okay. But uh, yeah. uh, uh, you, you can get it free, free for a month, I think, and then you have to subscribe to it at four ninety nine a month, which you know. Oh, cool! I also just am going to subscribe to uh, subscribing to the Disney Channel, so that's going to be six ninety nine. So for twelve bucks a month, I have uh, two out of the three that will be up there, you know, because the next one is HBO Max, but that's not till uh, next. April and who knows if I won't be dead from the prostate cancer by then. So, hey, you know this flea bag was just fantastic. Um, yeah, flea bag you nope. didn't like. Oh, well, at the first three episodes, and then I kept watching, like you said, and then it just got better and better. And season two was just incredible. And it was so incredible. I bought tickets to go see the National Theater live uh, version in the movies of the play that she wrote about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, is is it with her? I'm gonna go see that next week. Is it with her? I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, she, it's a it's a one woman show, is what it is. Yeah, she's great. And I love her. She, she is terrific, and I can't yeah. remember her name right now because it's like three names, and I can't remember them to save my life. And that show just kept getting better and better. It was like watching a film. It was yeah. like watching a, a film that was divided up into twelve parts. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody see it besides uh, us? Yeah. Fleabag? It's great. It's on Netflix if you have Netflix. Mm. Oh, no, excuse me. It's Amazon. Word. Amazon, yeah. yeah. It's on Amazon. So if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can you can get it. Uh, so anyway, how's your son, uh, Kathleen? Good. He just came. He just came on one side of the bed, and he was trying to peek over. But that, is, isn't that the dog's job? <laughs> yes. 
Oh, boy. You're going to get that frozen picture of uh, Ray because he's not on the line right now, but I'm sure he will call back, okay? Um, but anyway, so, uh, so who, do you think's, uh, who do you think is going to wind up getting the nomination, and do they have a chance of beating Trump? Well, that yes. answered our question. What? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think he's got a very good chance Who? of of Trump of not winning. But it doesn't matter who he's going against. I mean, could he go against a dog catcher and, and lose? That's what somebody said. I'll take any dog. <laughs> Conan. <laughs> Well, it, it, as long as it's not Trump, you know, they, it, it, a lot of people have said that uh, that uh, it's going to be a little more difficult for him to win this time because mm. he won last time in a vacuum. A lot of people voted for him because they went, "Okay, this couldn't hurt." You know, we tried everything else. Let's try Trump, okay? And now that they've seen what he's done as president, you know, except for his acolytes, they're not buying it. You know. So really, uh, you know, um, a dog with bad breath could probably win over Trump. You know, but I may be talking out of school because he may wind up winning, and then I'm going to sit here and have to tell Phil I was wrong. Yes, uh, Tom. Yeah. Well, I'll just say this: I I don't I don't know any more than anybody, but I'll I'll just say uh, I've said this before: I will not only vote, but I will work for any Democratic nominee. So, you know, if, if Trump wins, yeah, I, at least could say I did everything I could. <laughs> My cat is what? I can't read. You can't read. My cat is smarter than the president. Oh, I'm smarter than the president. <laughs> My daughter has that on her phone. There's a popular bumper sticker here that says, any rational adult 2020. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what, what is all that popping noise? <coughs> I don't know. Anyway, so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and, and Tony's left us with his wallpaper again. God <laughs> almighty. It drives me nuts. Um, so, uh, let me see here. So, uh, it, you know, I mean, I, I just, I'm, I'm fearful that Biden, is going to get nominated. And I really don't mm -hmm. know if he's got the, the ability to win it. I, I don't know which one of these people is strong enough to really give a good edge against Trump. Um, Pete. Pete, you know, I'll tell you, I keep going back to Pete. Uh, who said Pete? I did. You yeah. did. I keep going back to Pete because... Um, I keep thinking that this is a guy who is just smart enough uh, to be able uh, to outwit Trump. And what can Trump say about him? He doesn't have experience? Well, neither did you, Donald. He's got more experience than you. Dude. Yeah, he had more experience going in than, than Trump had going in. He had military experience? He had the, He's but he served in the military. Uh, and when he went to one of those schools that are pretty good. He went to Harvard. He's very, oh, one, he's, yeah. ve he's very religious. <laughs> you know, he's very religious. There are very few things he can he he can get him on. What is all that noise? Is that are you there, Ray? You aren't back, are you, Ray? No, no. I have no idea what happened there. Anyway, so where were we? Um, so we got another 50 minutes to keep talking. Somebody say something quick. Yes, Tom. Well, I'll keep on the, the discussion about uh, Pete Buttigieg. Uh, I know the past discussions have been going on here and say, oh, people won't vote for him uh, because he's gay, and that's the reason he has to have the black vote. They're all the blacks are going for Biden because they... Oh, wait a minute. There, uh, there's something wrong with your microphone. You keep yeah. bumping it or something. Oh, yeah. And that's where the noise is coming from. You might reset. Now he's. Now we can't hear uh -huh. you, Tom. Uh, talk, Tom, talk to us. No, we can't hear you. Nope. You probably no, muted your mic. 
You pro I would now you froze. No, no. He it looks like he muted his mic or something. Is his mic muted? Let me see here. I can no. no, it's not muted. Huh. Son of a bitch. Oh um, Tom, we can't hear you. You call your calls back. Okay. All right. We'll keep your spot open. There he goes. And he's frozen there, folks. So he'll he'll be back as soon as he's not frozen. Um, anyway, where was I? Uh, so anyway. Um, well, we were talking about Pete. How I, I was curious as to what some of the other people think about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what, well, uh, uh, Kathleen, you're not that into the whole thing, right? Do you have an opinion on Pete Buttigieg? No, you know, he reminds me of a uh, either Elf on the Shelf or a very young Rowan Atkinson. But, you know, I've never, ever heard anything bad about him. Yeah. No, no, I haven't either. You and know. he has far more, um, oh, I can't think of the word, I'm tired. Hmm. Oh. Intelli Trump has, had no, um, you know, he was never in politics. Right, right. Uh, are you there, Tom, now? Uh, how about now? Now you you're me? now you're fine. I don't know what happened to you. I just turn it off and turn it on. I always tell people all I all I know about tech support I learned from Jurassic Park. Turn it off and turn it back that's on. Again. Uh, that's what I always tell girlfriend. You know, she says, hey, my thing isn't working, and I go, "What do we do when something isn't working?" And she goes, "Turn it on and turn it off." I said, "Right, go do that." And she goes, "It's working now." Okay, fine. You know, we in the early days, though, before computers, today, it, with post-computers, it's turn it on, turn it off. Pre-computers, it's hit it. You know? Yeah, the right? TV. Right? Boom. Yeah. Hit the TV. <laughs> hit the radio. If you're getting yep. some static on the radio, hit the radio. <laughs> you know, but now you don't hit them anymore. Because, I mean, like, what do I hit? You know, so... That, that uh, you just reboot. I wonder if Ray's ever going to come back. I mean, we're holding a space for him here. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah. you know, I mean, I just, you know, I worry that the Democrats aren't going to come up with somebody who's a good stealth candidate, you know? Um, and, and for all you want to hate Trump, in a way he is a stealth candidate. Uh, in, in a weird... Uh, here we go. Ray should be on now. Coming on. Hey. Yeah. Hello, Ray. Are you there? Hey. Uh, yeah. 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 Wait a minute. I got the car disconnected. Uh, oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. But you, I don't have any picture on you. Why is that? Oh, really? Why hmm. is that? That I don't. I don't have any picture on you. Uh, let me see here. Goomba. Yeah. No, uh, it isn't. He is. You aren't there. Huh? It's the man in the green shirt with the head. Ray Ray Pa one. Huh? You want me to? What were you? Is he got a different name right now? Oh, I might have logged in under a different. I had, I think I have two accounts, and when I had to, I had to reinstall Skype. It might have put under my other account. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me see what this other account is. Let me see if I have this. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, I'm sure this is interesting to most of you hearing me do this. What? Oh, Ray. There we go. All is right. it my real name? Ray something. Oh, okay, good. Ray. Ray Pa one. Ray something. Ray something. Yeah. Ray Ray. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so anyway, I um uh, what was it? Was there anything else? You know, I didn't I didn't watch the news today. Did anybody watch the news? No, I I, didn't, I watched a little bit, but it was in the afternoon now. Yeah. And yeah. and what was happening? Was it the same old thing? Do you watch MSNBC and it's just the same old thing all the time? Well, usually I watch Channel 2 to 12.30. Me and my mother, then we turn it off. Because then Young and the Restless comes yeah. on, and we hate that fucking <laughs> music. <laughs> Jesus, get rid of it. But really, I only watch like the half hour. I like to watch the afternoon news, to tell you the truth. See the weather and stuff like that. The afternoon news? Oh, you mean the one at yeah, noon? Like the lunchtime news. The lunchtime news. That's when I'm making lunch. Actually, we run at 11 o'clock here. That's not even lunch. Oh, we eat early <laughs> since I started staying <laughs> home. I'm eating early all the time. <laughs> I eat dinner at four o'clock now. I'm not even joking. 
I get it over with. Really? You're, getting, you're getting there earlier than us. What time do you eat dinner, uh, Kathleen? Well, now that my hours are all screwy, I'm eating breakfast at like 4.15 in the morning, and then uh, lunchtime is like at, uh, let's see, about 9.30. And dinner? And I, come, I usually come home, have a snack, and then go to the gym, and then come home and eat dinner about, I don't know, 6. Oh, okay. So you eat about the time that uh, girlfriend and I do. Yeah. We eat at 6. But, oh, it, but, no, but it, it used to be seven. Oh, wow. That's weird. It, and it used to be eight. Yeah, huh? But as you get older, it gets, you know, and, and, and every now and then she goes, dinner's ready. And I look at the clock and it's 5.30. And I oh, say, that's late for me now. I say, I'm not eating till six o'clock. I am not getting to be that old a fart, you know. <laughs> I like eating early. I just feel like I like it now. I often eat at 11. So I don't get home from rehearsal till like eleven, yeah. and then I eat, yeah. and I can't eat before I go because I'm not hungry. Yeah, it sucks, and then I go to bed with a full stomach. It's oh, that's not here. Good. Here's an I item. know. Here's either that or I don't eat. <laughs> here's a news item that may I doubt if you missed, but I'll mention it anyway. Uh, Donald Trump is moving Trump. out of New York. Yeah. Oh, I heard about that. Yes, I heard about it. He's moving he's, yeah, out of New York. He's moving. Far. He's moving to Miami now. I don't know if anybody has told him, but he actually lives in Washington D.C. But he thinks he's going to move to to Florida. I'm glad to see him go. But why does he want to move to Florida? Anybody what have want to want to hazard a guess? Taxes it's sinking, no and so tax. is he. Yeah. What? What? Uh, 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 Vernon had his hand up. Vernon. Go for yeah. the point. They have no income tax in Florida. No, it's, yeah. it's more than that. What he is thinks he? that by going to Florida, he's going to avoid all the tax problems he's got in New York State. But, you know, if you reported your taxes wrong once, just because you move to another state doesn't make them not happen or make them go away. Uh, and uh, Mario Cuomo did the best tweet that anybody could possibly do. He said, Donald Trump is moving to Florida. You didn't pay any taxes anyway. Good riddance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and wow. and um, that's why he's moving to Florida, or he's going to make Florida his residence. You know. Although, wouldn't the White House be his residence? I mean, he's there most of the time. It's his official residence. It's going to make it his official residence uh, for tax purposes. Oh, okay. All right. And voting. And, and voting. And voting. And things like that. Because you can vote twice in Florida. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I, uh, once in English and one in Spanish or something? Something like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, you know, so anyway. I wonder why we haven't heard from Phil tonight. I guess he's mad at me. He might be. You think he's mad? I think so, yeah. I have to go back and watch last night. I didn't see it. Well, no, <clears throat> I, I just I just got uh, I got mad at him. I, you know, I mentioned tonight that I was, the last night I was kind of yeah, put off anything. because I, uh, did you notice, uh, uh, let's see here, you were here, right? Uh, you were here, Tony, right? And you were yeah, here, I Jeff. thought you were pretty good, though. You got a little mad, but no, but, I, uh, but, but, but I was getting very frustrated. Well, he was interrupting a little bit, I thought. A little right. bit? A, right. lot. a, little, a really, lot. A yeah. lot. A lot. Yeah, he was he was in Trump mode last night, pretty good the last hour. Yeah, and and you know I've asked him not to do that, you know, and he's told me okay, and then he did back off for a while, you know. He was behaving himself like he when you had to talk to him. It sounds like. Oh yeah, well, it's you know it's just I I said uh, you know I told him once before I said what you have a tendency to do is to monopolize the conversation, and I hope you won't do that. He said anything to help you out, and he did back off. He was, he was very good about it, and uh, I mentioned it tonight that I was last night was very rough for me. You know, it was one of those nights that I sat there and in my head I was going, why the fuck am I doing this? And um, I decided that I, I you know, uh, so I was just mentioning it tonight, and I guess he maybe heard it and just decided, oh, I'm not going to call now. You know, and he's not going to call three days next week anyway. 
So we probably won't hear from him ever again. I don't know. You know. Oh, he'll surprise you for many. I think he will. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at him, but I mean, I was frustrated by him. It just made it very, very difficult. Um, and, and, you know, there are other people in the mix, and I like to feel that they can feel the freedom to, um, you know, say what they feel about stuff, you know, and not, not have to fight for air, as it were. And um, he was making it very difficult last night, uh, you know. It's almost like he practices... Um Oh, the, you know, the talking points in the mirror or something. No, it's, he, he doesn't, writer, he, he doesn't practice them. He gets them all direct from Trump. Yeah, but, but he's so, he's, he articulates them so quickly and without any hesitation. It's amazing. Yeah, he's pretty good with remembering that stuff. Yeah, he's just boom, 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 you know. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't catch him in a play, Ray. You have like I know, I know. <laughs> well, you just know, I mean, last night I, I accused him of, uh, he, he did say on this program, that the, it'll never come to a vote to even do the procedural stuff. Yeah, I saw I that two right, nights ago. Yeah. Two I've nights heard. ago you said that, because I saw it. I was driving home. But, I mean, he said that. It would not come to a vote. Yeah, I remember that. And it I did, it and it did. Yeah. And so when I said, you were wrong, Phil, he wouldn't admit that he was wrong. Do you think that's the boss mentality in Phil, maybe, because he owns his place, he has to be right, maybe? Maybe that's a well, little bit of Well, then I would hate to is. work for him. I mean, I, you think he's a bad boss? No, I don't think so. I think he's okay. Now listen, Phil's a very him. sweet, decent guy. Phil, okay, Phil's all a, other things considered, he's a sweet, decent guy. And anybody yeah. here who's had anything to do with him outside of he's this program knows that to be true. Yeah. I want to say Phil is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Like, I, I know him. In Wait a minute. Oh, no, we lost Ray's sound. We just lost we Ray's Ray microphone. Ray's microphone. Really brought up. <laughs> I think Phil is froze up. Oh, there you go. There, now you're fine. Now you're fine. Now we lost your camera. Now, now your camera moved. Action. Am I gone now? Ah, oh, fuck. No, you're you're on now. This now you're back. Have, you're back this, again. This particular mic shuts down all the time, and I have to un unplug it. This Rode uh, USB mic. I don't know why. Oh, uh, anyway. It's all, I do not like your voice. <laughs> yeah. Well, I the do. other mics were great. It's just this one. I don't know what's wrong. Anyway. Yeah. No. No. I just was saying, Phil's a great guy. Mm -hmm. He really. Is. He just. Uh, I don't know. Well, I would hate to think he was bothered by what I said tonight because uh, he should be bothered by the fact that I was bothered. You know, because yeah. I felt very frustrated last night. Yeah. I, I think he was frustrated himself. What do you mean? I don't know. Phil gets frustrated by his own bullshit. Really? Elaborate on that. Well, well, explain yourself. <laughs> when you I don't see it. <laughs> that's interesting. He's kind of going. I think sometimes he wants a he wants a win with his Trump uh, plan. Yeah. He really right. wants everybody to say, well, Phil, I think you're right. Trump is the right guy. Well, also, the, also the thing is, like, I've talked to him about it when I've been with him, you know, in person. And he just, it's like, he says, that's my guy. You know, I, that's the team I chose. And I'm going to fight for that team. And that's the way he looks at it. Which is kind of, you know. Yeah. Kind of good in a way, I guess. Well, he he has every right to... You know, to his opinions and the way he feels. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, I, I, I just find that sometimes it's just like, see, I mean, I, I, I think I, I don't mind people who disagree with me. I don't agree with uh, Patrick. Okay. Patrick is, uh, uh, is, is, a, a is a, con no, he's a conservative and uh, he holds different ideals than I do. But I like Patrick, and I uh, want him to speak his piece. And I want Phil to speak his piece, too. I just don't want him, you know, it's not like Patrick is so verbose that he yells and screams at everybody, you know. He just says what he feels, and then he lets somebody else say what they feel. And, and that's the way it should be, you know. So. Uh, but I do know that the presence of Phil sometimes scares people like Tom away from the program. Am I right, Tom? No, he doesn't scare me away. He just bores me to death. 
Oh, okay. Uh, well, no, that's why I'm putting it. No, I, I real, I, I real, the reason I don't really want to be on with him is because he just completely dominates, just like he was last night. He was like he he would put things up on the screen to, to you know attract attention to himself when someone else was trying to speak. You had every reason to be to be upset because he was very disruptive of the show. And I think, can I, if I can express a different opinion about what's going on with Phil, and I've mentioned this to you before, mm -hmm. but I think the problem with Phil is he believes the show needs him, and so to do that, he puts on this character. And he goes crazy with it because he thinks that if he isn't on doing this character, you know, there's no show, no show without Phil. And he gets reinforced. People think he's really funny, you know, and and, and there'll be people they disagree with. That's why. And, and Jack, Josh Wheeler had mentioned that before. He felt like that there was something about the way way he was like he wasn't really really genuine in his in his opinions. He was just Try, he was just trying to put on a show for us. Right, right. You know, I, I mean, yeah, that's the way I take it. I don't know if other people think that's no. not the case, but he's genuine in his opinions. I can tell you that. I'm sure well, of it. Well, opinions, but his opinions might they very reflect his opinions, but his personality. Oh, it, that's he a put really on. Wants to? He really wants to? Uh, he wants to be a co-host, really. Yeah, that's, that's a put on. That's that's a that's that that's a facade he's putting on for the show because he's not like that really. Well, that's what he's yeah. all. Yeah, that's yeah, you're right about that. This must be a side of Phil I have not seen because he's always seemed nice and, you know, funny, chatty, but not overboard. Uh, I I think that for the most part, Phil uh, can be very funny and very inter and very interesting. But he, it, it, there are times when he just becomes, um, uh, what's what's the word I'm looking? He becomes obstructive to the to the program and uh, overbearing. Uh, uh, overbearing, if you want to say mm -hmm. say it that way, uh, you know. So I mean, I just I, I if if Phil is bothered by uh, what I said tonight, I'm sorry, but I had to say it. I was really upset last night. And um, uh, it, it, it's not often that I just sit there and myself as a host close down completely. So, and I was I was just closing down because I just said I, I can't get a word in edgewise. You know, I try, but I can't. So anyway, uh, uh, if he says give Phil a break, it's usually nine against one. Well, but you know. It's it it's it's we're not all, you know, hanging picking on him. Did you raise your hand there, Ray? Yeah, I just wanted to say that, um, you know, Phil's Phil, if if you looked at this like an improv thing, you know, Phil's really good improv improvisationally. You know, he's quick. He comes up with stuff. But like when you're doing that, you have to know how to when it's your turn to back off and let other people go. You know, it's like an art form. And sometimes yeah. he doesn't stop. When it's his turn to stop, yeah. you know. Yes, uh, and, uh, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I you know I used to 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 be a, a you know facilitate uh, groups, you know educational groups, adult education groups, and there's a phrase that we have that is step up and step back, and it's sort of similar to what Ray was saying. In other words, if if you're not participating, you know the group suffers for your lack of participating, but if you're participating to, to set that other people do not get a chance to participate, that you're interfering, then that's also destructive. So it's 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 knowing when to step back that, that Phil really needs to understand. And I don't I don't hate it. I, I just feel that everyone probably would be best if they only came on the program but maybe a, a couple times a week and you know and, and, and give it a risk. Give give other people a chance to come on. Yeah. Well, well that might not have any callers then. <laughs> well, definitely. The thing is, always afraid you're not going to have any callers, but you always have callers. I they get, may be the same people, yeah. but, you know, and, you know, there's about, what, five, five, six of us? Yeah. It's good enough. I just sent him a note saying, where are you? Are you mad? Let's, let's mm -hmm. see if, 
let him be mad. Yeah, let him be mad. Let I mean, him be he, mad. You know, no. I mean, uh, he may have the photo group with the old people that he beats up for the photos. Remember? No, that's on Wednesdays. <laughs> oh, that's Wednesdays. Although he does, he he, he lately has so gone. At, he he. It's the old people. <laughs> I mean, I, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's probably it's, it's, wins it's, first prize. Well, let's the win it, tonight. He might <laughs> actually be playing hitman for the Jews. Time. Let him win. Let him feel like they got so. He might be playing hitman for the Jews tonight. That might be. Where I he can't is. believe he had to stay well, out at the synagogue. Can you imagine? Imagine that place if you made the wrong noise with him. Oh, he was doing the right thing now. Yeah. Yeah. I was in Williamsburg today with my mom. Yeah. So I was I was around there. I yeah. thought I saw Phil by the synagogue. No, that's not him. No, I couldn't believe what he said that I wrote. <laughs> I mean, he, he seems like he is a good guy though. Because he worked for free. Anybody who worked for the cops are free, Alex. God bless him, because I couldn't work there for a paycheck if you paid me. Well, I wouldn't work I wouldn't free. work for the cops at all. At all, yeah. At all for any you reason. Push me out there. You know. I've never had any great love for the cops. I'm a little scared of them, to tell you the truth. I mean, I know my uncle was a detective, but he was the Tommy's husband. I was always a little intimidated by them. Well, I never, I, 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 and by the way, I'm as legitimate as you could possibly be. I've never had trouble with the police. Never. Ever. Okay? I don't know where this dislike of the uh, police come from, but I just d feel that at least when I was growing up, the people who gained that kind of authority were people who wanted the Lord authority over people. Mm -hmm. And so it was the wrong people that were being made cops. And so therefore I found them who were cops were not particularly, you know, right. you know, right in the head. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. It's like, oh boy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Jeff. I think it's real complex. Uh, an, an old friend of mine is called Jimmy O'Neill. Mm -hmm. Who's the head cop in New York City? Well, you know, if your name is O'Neill, you got to be a cop. Oh, the Irish, either a fireman or a cop. Well, I remember when when he wasn't a cop, he used to be sell insurance, <laughs> and we used to go skiing and stuff like that. Yeah. And and uh, anyway, he's a very nice person, and and he always doesn't act like a cop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. What happened? Who did that? Sorry, I, I took a snapshot. I was wondering what the fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I got a thing from Ray. The audience, the audience sorry, couldn't. See, the audience. Thank you, Ray. Yeah, thanks, Ray. I'll the, save it on my laptop. The, the audience couldn't see button, that. Like, the audience like, couldn't see that. Oh, here, Phil it. wrote. I'm, I'm I just woke up. I turned on the show. I heard about the last five minutes. I had spaghetti and meatballs tonight. Um, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, 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 last night, uh, tonight, at an Italian restaurant, I fell asleep as soon as I got home. The sugar rush to a diabetic. Not mad. Should I be? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Was that Phil? <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, like he got tummy Phil. He got the yeah. meatballs. Uh, 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 let's see here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, oh. And, Improve Siri dictation. I don't want to improve Siri dictation. I hate improving Siri dictation. Not now. Oh, no, no. That's not what I want. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Disregard the last message. Let's see here. Disregard the last message. I was talking, and it was just taking my dictation. We're all here saying how much we truly adore and love you in spite of the fact that you're a cocksucker. <laughs> Period. Okay. okay, let's see what he writes back. Uh, anyway. So he was asleep. He had too much spaghetti and meatballs. You know. Anyway. But, I, you know, the thing is, the thing I like about Phil on the show is I like that other opinion. And I like it no, yeah. no nonsense, okay? I think that's good. I just think that I, you know, you, you need to have respect for the other people who are here. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. No, I, th I think you're very right, and I wish that that we could hear some of our uh, Republicans uh, on TV to say something. What do you mean to say something? Well, they won't say anything about Trump. Well, here's what's what's going to happen. Okay. He has a 
approval rating of uh, there fifty five percent of Republicans don't think he should be impeached. All right, forty four percent think he should. The rest just are stupid Republicans. Don't give a shit. So don't give a shit. As soon as that goes up to goes down lower than fifty percent, those senators are going to start bailing. Those mm-hmm. congressmen are going to start bailing on him. The minute that support, that Republican support, erodes enough, they're not going to they're not going to tie themselves to that anchor. Okay, and then he's got a problem. Isn't that what happened with Nixon? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. As long as his as his not his approval rating, but the the people saying, "Hey, we don't think he should be impeached," of Republicans is above fifty percent, they're not going to fuck with that. Okay, because they have to go back to their constituents and look them in the face. And I don't know how people can look them in the face, you know. But that's me, mm-hmm. you know. So I mean, I it, 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 it it's a matter. It's going to be a matter of time before that, you know, it happens. Let's hope it happens when the when the trial takes place in the Senate, because sure as you're born, he's going to be impeached. At this point, there's no question about that. Now, as to whether he's going to get, um, well, more faves says Alex is dreaming. Unfortunately. The cultist ain't abandoning ship. Phil is a perfect example of a cultist. Uh, I don't know if that's true, uh, uh, Moore, <laughs> if that's your real name, uh, because I, I think that people are slowly getting tired of his shenanigans, you know, and, and they're getting, you know, un- unless their business is doing really well because of Trump or they're making more money than they have in the past, uh, uh, you're 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 going to see people abandoning ship. Did, were you waving your ha- waving your hand, Kathleen, or were you? No, it's my freaking cat's bothering me. <laughs> I I have I am. Uh, you oh you I, are okay. I think it's a cult. That he might be right in the sense that, like they say thirty percent are the cultists who will love him. You know, even if he shoots someone on yeah. Fifth Avenue or whatever. But there are a lot of a lot of people who will jump ship. You know, twenty percent or whatever. So if it goes from fifty-five to forty, he's done. American I'm Patriot. Republican. American Patriot here says nine in ten Republicans, and Republican leading independents are against impeachment. No, you're wrong, American Patriot. Fifty-five percent of Republicans are against impeachment. Forty-four percent are for impeachment. In the latest, I think this was a New York Post poll, and that's a right-wing newspaper. Um, formerly owned by Rupert Murdoch. I don't know who owns it now. Uh, and and so you're wrong, uh, American patriots. So don't don't start publishing Trump's lies on our chat, okay? Because that's one of Trump's lies. But anyway, so um, you've got what two cats, Kathleen? Three. Three cats. Wow. Feeding time around there must be ferocious. Of course, nope. cats don't go crazy when they eat. They eat a little bit and save some for later. Yes. They never dogs. You whatever you put down, they wolf down. Yeah. And that's it. You know. Not my dog. My dog my eats like a cat. Yeah. She comes she, up and she sniffs. Oh, we lost Ray's sound. <laughs> You're out again. That's his dog. It, w- Ray, we lost again. your sound again. We lost your sound again, Ray. <laughs> Can you hear us? Ray? <laughs> Ray? <laughs> Ray? There goes Anybody the know language? Ray? God, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, what? No. Negative. We heard nothing. We heard nothing. Oh, yeah, something's wrong with my mic. Like, I have to keep <laughs> unplugging you it. You think? And you think? Oh, yeah. Damn it. What, 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 g- what gave you the clue, Ray? I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> and everyone was going like this. <laughs> Not your mic. That's your headphones. Neither could we. No, no, no. It's my mic. It's my mic. Because oh, yeah. my headphones are plugged into my mic. <clears throat> yeah. Siri asked me if I wanted to improve dictation, and then I said something like, oh, and improve Siri dictation. I don't want to 
improve Siri dictation. I hate improving Siri <laughs> dictation. Not now or no, 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 that's not what I want to do, stop. That was me talking in and it was dictating everything I said and sent that to Phil. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wrote, disregard the last message I was talking and it was just taking my dictation. Oh, here we go, another message I think from him. It says, I really don't feel well, I'm going to sleep it off. I had to read a book that was just sent me to me for from a Nashville summit I'm participating in Tuesday. So between the sugar high and the book, I am fully cooked and I and ready for about ten hours more hours of sleep. And then he just sent me a picture of the book, which you could probably see here, maybe, Ooh. maybe or maybe you can't. Okay. Nope. Anyway, so we're turning into a book club. Nice yeah. show. <laughs> He's gonna take you. Oh, 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 okay. Whose book is that? This is. Uh, I'm reading. Michael McFall. Huh? That's Michael McFall. Oh, former former Russian ambassador. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a good book. I'm about half finished for it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do well, a lot Putin of Putin wants to interview. It, 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 okay. By the way, in case people are wondering what he held up, that's a book. Yes. Uh, yeah, I just thought I would mention that because everything I buy, I buy off for my... I actually have done more reading because I have an iPad than before I had an iPad because books were just too much to carry around, you know? You, now, you don't have an iPad. Do, well, you have an iPad, don't you, uh, uh, Tom? No, I don't. Oh, you don't. Oh, okay. No, I have this my MacBook and I have an iPhone. Oh, you have a okay, but it, well, you could you could read it on an iPhone if you had to. I could probably. Yeah, yeah. but I like I like reading on an iPad. I think it's you know, plus I'm not. Are you? What are you? You're tapping around there, uh, Ray. No, I'm not. Really. No, but and we only see half of Ray's face. We only see half of Ray's face. It's art. He does art for us. It's it's. it's... And then once he turns the camera, we lose his sound. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, where was I? Oh, so um, hmm. I don't know what I was saying. I'm just. Can I... you hear this? Is that my mouse making noise? No. No. Okay, then it wasn't. It wasn't me then. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't care. So, Vernon, what have you done on vacation? Anything interesting? Read a bunch of books. <laughs> okay. So you book? you take the kind of uh, now you're where again? Mount Jackson, Virginia. Okay, and and that is what are the lakes there? I mean, what is the Mount well this time of the year? It's not the greatest the western, time. Huh? the western part of Virginia up in the mountains. Nice. I see. Okay, so but I mean you don't go there to like go sit out in the sun because this time of the year there's no sun to sit out in, right? No, we we take the dog for long walks and come back and read our novels. Oh, okay. All right. That that sounds okay, you know. There's a golf course here, but the weather hasn't cooperated since I've been here. Really? Oh, okay. Um, uh, anybody else uh, going on vacation anytime soon? Because I think I've got to. But I'm just afraid I'm going to have terminal cancer and not be able to go on a vacation. So. You're going to be fine. Yeah. Come mm. on. I hope I will be fine. You know what I don't like is that, mm. and this happens, I don't know why it happens, but uh, all the uh, um, um, show, show call and Skype's in the background. Hold on a second. I'm looking to see mm. where the, uh, oh, here we go, advanced. All right. Where the watermark is, it's, it was in the bottom right corner. See, I wanted it in the bottom right corner. So I just moved it into the bottom right corner because that's where I like it to be. Because I, I don't want people to have to see the Skype logo if they don't have to. So wasn't that interesting, folks? Let me, let, me talk to, let me talk to the people for a second who are watching me on Facebook, okay? I like the Facebook feed. There are like, like two people. It's clear. There are like two people on Facebook I, watching I, I was, I'm going to go on it right and now. And I want to say hello to the people 
who are watching me on, uh, on, on, on Facebook. This is a special. You cannot see this feed on YouTube. On YouTube, they're still getting the whole, you know, all the people on the line. But here, you know, it's, it's me and you. It's a special feed. But, you know, uh, you know, fuck that. I think we'll go back to that. There we go. Okay. Oh, so, cool. I see that on the Facebook. See? Whoa. See? I have a special feed. Yeah. Isn't that nice? That's uh, neat. Well, wait a minute. Why did it suddenly go like this? Uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Okay. Anyway, uh, let me see here. What else do I have to talk about? Anything? Nah, I have nothing to talk about. Jeff? Yes, Jeff. Wait a minute. Turn oh. on your. Oh, no. Mute. Now Jeff's mic. Turn the mute off. Okay. I'm talking again. See, mm -hmm. it works fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go to Florida again. Oh, really? Just for uh, like a month. A month? Yeah. We'll be hearing from you, though, won't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I said if you want to come down, you're welcome to come down, too. But I know you still hate Florida forever. Well, do you have a house down there? No, it's just a rent. We're renting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and you have a guest room and stuff? Yep. Oh, wow. I don't know, maybe we will. What the hell? You know. That's right. go. go down there, hang out, you know, get away from my cancer. That's right. Uh. <laughs> you know, Vernon it, it, it helped me a lot on this because Vernon had prostate cancer and they got rid of it, right, Vernon? Yes. So he had nine weeks of radiation treatments. Yeah. And you have to go like every day, right? Or five days a week or something? Five days a week. Yeah. And it took how long to do the radiation treatments? Uh, I was in and out of there, including getting undressed for the treatment and yeah. getting dressed after the treatment. I was in and out in 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Anyway, so I mean, so uh, uh, I guess I should. Um, um, uh, I, and you're how old? You were how old when this happened? Um, I guess I was around 62. Okay. Yeah. So at that age, it's, they really worry about it. When you get to be yeah, my that's what age, the doctor said. they don't. I'm trying to find Here's Bree. Okay. There we go. We now have Bree joining us. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, let me, let me turn that. No, Bree should be in. Oh boy, what, what's happening here? No, come here, come here, come here, come here. It's fine. Uh, that's Never not what mind. I want. I want number seven, and I want it to be Brie. Okay, Brie. There we go. Now do it. Do it to me. Okay. There. Well, there's Brie. And okay, now we got Brie. Hello, Brie. Where are you Hello. tonight? You're. Yeah, I'm in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, I know you didn't. Do, well, what? I thought maybe you went to California for the weekend. What? <laughs> no, no. Is that is that uh, your home that you're in right now? Yeah. Okay. So it's not your office. No, it's Saturday here. Yeah. What a world we live in, right? He's in Kuala right. Lumpur. Kathleen's in uh, Tracy, right? Or some yep. like Tracy, Tracy like, um, Tracy, California. And uh, Jeff is in uh, Connecticut, and Tony is in uh, Queens, and Ray is in California, as is Tom Yamaguchi. Actually, yeah. we three people here are very close, <clears throat> kind of close to each other. And Phil is in Russia. And Phil is in <laughs> <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Socialist communist. Yeah. What, what, socialist communist. Yeah. 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 Usually phone us, Brie usually phone us late, but it's only a, it's a 12 hour difference, right? Because it's got to be uh, like a, almost uh, noon in Kuala Lumpur, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. And I just had so many things to do this morning. It just seems like time goes so quickly, and uh, you know, during the work week, I can't get anything done. And I was gonna—I planned to do some yard work this morning, but we're just getting too many rains, big rainstorms. So just as I, you know, get my gardening outfit on, 
yeah. get ready to go out the, we get a monsoon. Yeah. So, oh, well, you know, a monsoon? That, yeah. sound, that sounds so devastating. Are they that terrible? Um, they, they can be. Um, but they're every day, and it just depends on how long they're for. Uh, usually they're only for an hour. But we had a couple... Uh, now, what is it, now, what is it like? Is it like a torrential downpour? Yeah. I mean, it's just the type where you can't see the house across the street. Wow. Wow. And sometimes, I mean, in our first month here, there was so much we had flash flooding, and the whole the whole street was flooded. But that only happened once in these. But don't they months. have drainage for these streets and so on because of the monsoons? Oh, we we do, but they are they still can't handle some of the torrential downpours that we've been getting. Mm -hmm. they, there's just too much rain too quickly, um, and you know. Nine times out of ten, the the uh, the drainage can handle it, but one out of ten they can't. What's the predominant religion in in, in uh, Malaysia? Well, throughout the whole country, it's Islam. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I forget the percentages. I think it's around sixty percent, maybe seven, sixty or seventy percent. It depends. In in the area where I live, it's probably less than that it's it's probably 64 maybe 50 50. and, and what's uh, the other 50 predominantly uh, it would be a, a mix of hindu and uh and uh, buddhism and confucianism taoism christianity seems to me you have a lot of uh, incense there huh? huh it would seem to me you have a lot of incense there oh yeah, and there's a holiday every time. Right now, it's Diwali. So the those who are of or connected to India celebrate that. So we have fire. There's fireworks been going off all week. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of holidays. Yeah, because Confucius uh, say. Well, you I went a lot to of people to walk around doing that. Confucius say. I went to this. There's a uh, lot of uh, Tai Chi people. I went to this Buddhist temple in uh, in uh, in. Uh, where do you call it? Uh, uh, Beijing, and uh, they had it, it, more incense burning than I've ever smelled in my life. I mean, just big, like almost bushes of incense burning. Yeah, and it was uh, it was amazing. I mean, I did some great video because there was all this incense smoke, and I was shooting through the incense smoke. It really looked great. You know. Uh, but uh, what I noticed, though, was that there was a lot of incense in Beijing, and and they're a not lot that of people were incensed. Yeah, well, they're not that they're not that religious because the communists are atheistic, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But they do allow the Buddhists to exist as long as they, I guess, watch themselves. Except in Tibet, then they'd kill them, you know. But um, or in uh, the western Xinjiang province. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Putting them in re, 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 I'll tell you, re, I, uh, I love configuration camps. I love yeah. China and I love the Chinese people and I love the Chinese country. Uh, but I don't understand the Chinese politics. I don't understand why they feel they have to be so authoritarian. You, you know what it is, Alex? I can explain it to you. Mm -hmm. um, imagine that you have to go into a kindergarten class and you've got 30 kids. And then all of a sudden I bring in another 30 kids. And you're, you're kind of a nice person and you, the kids like you and things are getting along. Then I bring in another 30 kids and you have 90 kids. The only way that you, I mean, how would you make sure that they don't hurt themselves or that they don't get into trouble or that they don't, you know, do something else. That's how I view it. There's so many people that you have to have these these very strict laws, or else everything falls apart. Yeah, but see, I, what I don't uh, what I don't understand here is I don't understand uh, the Chinese government vis-a-vis -vis Hong Kong, and and they're handling that situation very badly. You know, well, how are they handling it? Authority with uh, great authority. 
<laughs> you know. Well, I haven't seen them handle anything yet. Well, haven't you seen the rioting in the streets and the tear gassing and the? Well, that's a Hong Kong internal matter. the The mainland has not the main no the gone main in there. the mainland supposedly is calling the shots. Yeah. That's that's what the what we were led to believe. Uh, and they don't like the fact that their power is being usurped, you know. And they're going against basically the fact that they were going to let uh, uh, Hong Kong have its own way. You know, they they were going to create their own destiny. Uh, and that was yeah. kind of the agreement when the Chinese took it over finally. And that lasted for many, many a year. But now they're getting authoritarian. They're trying to tell them, hey, we want you to turn these people over. We want certain people to be sent to China to be tried, things like that. And mm -hmm. that's not sitting very well with a bunch of people who have really known freedom pretty well for the existence of Hong Kong. And it's the thing that's made Hong Kong yeah. great. Yeah, I agree with you there. Yeah. Last time I was in Hong Kong, it was free. It was three years before it got turned over. Yeah. 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 But, in, you know, India, India is a democracy, and they're almost as big as China. Uh, no, yeah. they're not as big as China. I, I said almost. 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 China's, I mean, they're, they're huge. India's China's huge. pretty fucking big. Do you know yeah. that in China they only have one time zone? I know. They they, they they should have about four or five different time zones. It's that big. Well, but, but they only have one time zone, so nobody will get confused at what time it is. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know. That, that, we got to push the clock, I think. We're gaining an hour Sunday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're gonna, Again, we're going to go back to fooling ourselves. Why can't we just keep it at that time? Why don't we just say, yeah, let's keep it here. at this. Why don't Nixon we say, keep it at this time and everybody go to work an hour later? Or something like that, you know, or an hour well, earlier, is that, or whatever. Is that this weekend? Yeah. Oh, so you'll be an hour different from me. Yeah. And I wonder if that's an hour later or an hour Well, early. when does your t daylight saving time end? We don't do that. Well, oh, I see. Okay, that's that's why you're... Most of the, I don't think most of the world does that. Yeah. Um, that's a U.S. thing. I'm trying to think. I think Europe does, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Uh, because uh, uh, I remember going to Europe and then having the time change over here, and then a couple of weeks later it changed. Yeah, they do because I, my family's in France. They definitely change over there. Yeah, so yeah. They, they, uh, they, they they got with the program, you know. Well, I think Arizona is always daylight savings time. Saving time. Yeah, all, saving all, time. Yeah. No, I think they're always standard time. Who? Or, oh, it's always standard? Oh, okay. Which state? Right. Indiana is like that too. Yeah, and parts of Michigan, and there's different counties in Indiana that have different. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it's they kind used of to. ridiculous if you think about it. You know, ever since the uh, Edison and the electric light bulb, we, we don't really need that. Right. Exactly. Hey, listen, that's it, pretty much for this evening. I thank you all for being here. Oh, uh, gonna go to sleep? Are you now, uh, Schmooty? Gonna I'm get tired. yourself some sleeping? Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, say goodbye to uh, good night to Kathleen, and good night to uh, Ray, and good night to Vernon, who's on a happy vacation, and good night to Jeff, and good night to Tony, and good night to Tom. Thanks for calling, Tom. I really appreciate it. And and Bree, what 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 do you what do you? He's I'm pointing every time you say goodbye. I'm pointing to where the person is on the screen. Oh, I see. Okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have you do that all the time. Anyway, everybody. Why don't you give a big, uh, like, wave goodbye, and I will wave back at you. See? It's very simple. There we go. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. Uh, I will, uh, let's see here. Let me get rid of everybody. Uh, wait a where is that? Uh, here we go. There we go. Uh, Got to get rid of these here. Okay, so the next program, which is the intersection with Jack Bishop, uh, can use this uh, Skype lines for his program. Uh, and then we will see you again, uh, let's see, on uh, Tuesday after the intersection with uh, the intersection, after the exchange with Damian Chaplin. I'll be here at 10 o'clock. After, and I should have some word on what happened at the doctor's. I'm so worried about that. I don't know. I'm, I'm crazy. I shouldn't be. 
Anyway, thank you so much. I'll see you at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Oh, no, Eastern Time. Ah, daylight ends this weekend. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye, everybody.